Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July 25th to July 31st, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. okay, first card we have for you, Libra, is the Ace of Wands, the star in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Moon, the Ten of Swords. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. With the Death card and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So the biggest energy here is the Ace of Wands that's upright. So I feel like there's a lot of desire. It's like you have a lot of desire. Um, a lot of energy that you want to put into something. But circumstances don't seem to be allowing that to happen or cooperating with you to make that happen. Or you just don't feel adequ adequately supported We have the Eight of Cups in reverse, so I do feel like you're thinking about someone here um, that you want to possibly return back to or reconnect with. We have the Five of Cups and the Lovers here, it could be with a Gemini or a Scorpio for some of you. We have the Three of Cups here, so I feel like there's someone who you're missing, Libra. It's like you're missing them, you're thinking about them, you're wanting to reconnect with them, or you're wanting to reach out to them. Um, again, Ace of Wands, you have a lot of desire here to get something moving, but you're overthinking things with the Eight of Swords. We have the death card, so there could have been a separation or um, distance that occurred between you and this person. You're not really sure if you want to put yourself out there for this person with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're repressing, you're, you're, you're repressing your feelings here for this person, Libra. You're repressing your desires because you're not sure if if it would be a good idea for you to extend yourself out to this person. You're not really sure if, if your feelings would be reciprocated by this person, or you're not really sure if, 
Yeah, if this person like wants the same things that you want or feels the same way that you feel, you're not really sure what to expect from this person. You're feeling very vulnerable. You're feeling a little bit scared to get disappointed or to get hurt. But at the same time, you have a lot of feelings for someone and you really do want to kind of reconnect with them. But it's like you just don't know how and you, or you just don't know if you should trust it. You might feel like it's a little bit too much of a risk right now with the Ace of Wands. It's too risky. There's too much unknown energy. There's too much missing information that makes you feel a little bit um, insecure to, to take any action, even though you do want to take action. <clears throat> All right, Libra, so let's move on to your person. Let's not waste too much time here. I think I think we got the we got the main idea here of your energy. So let's move on and see what's going on with your person. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, first card we have for your person here is the Temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you, Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, the Magician in Reverse, the Sun in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles in Reverse. Could be a Leo also, or a Virgo, or Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we have Two of Cups in Reverse. Interesting with the star in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. Hmm. Let me show you the cards here. Okay, so, hmm. I feel like this is someone who wants to take a break from this relationship or from this connection with you. It looks like they're purposely kind of keeping themselves um, at a distance. Like keeping themselves separated from you. It, it, it looks kind of intentional though, like. Hmm. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. The Seven of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune upright. Uh, what's the temperance card doing here? Two of pentacles. Oh, okay. Four of swords in reverse. Uh, yeah. It, um, yeah, so same thing that I said at the beginning. I feel like this, per this person is intentionally um, keeping distant, keeping themselves distant from you and separated from you. It, it's almost like they feel like it's necessary or they feel like they need that space, they need that time apart to, to evaluate things here with the Two of Pentacles. There was an ending here with the Ten of Swords. This is someone who's trying to heal from some kind of hurt that they went through. They experienced some kind of hurt or pain. Or, I don't know, just something didn't go their way with the Ten of Swords. 
um, in regards to their relationship or connection with you. Something didn't go their way. Um, and I feel like they're trying to heal with the temperance card. They're trying to like recover their balance, their personal balance. And they're trying to decide if it's worth it to to, to be in contact again with you. But not now, it's like in, in the future or in the near future, they're trying to decide if it's, it would be worth it to engage themselves again with you. Because right now it looks like they just purposely want their time apart. They feel like the relationship is unstable with the two of cups in reverse, or like you two are just very disconnected. There's a lot of differences or, or there's some kind of disagreement here or incompatibility between you two. You two are not on the same page. They feel like you two are not on the same page. This person feels like they need to analyze or like evaluate if you two are even compatible with each other or not. If you two are even meant to be together. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune, so this person feels like maybe you two are not meant to be together. Maybe... Um, this relationship has served its purpose already. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else here. Tell me about the um, Ten of Swords spirit. Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. Yeah, uh, High Priestess upright. It's like, this, this is what I was saying. I feel like this person is intentionally kind of keeping quiet, keeping silent. They're intentionally not responding to you, for some of you. Not responding to your uh, messages or communication with the Eight of Wands. Like ignoring you, I guess you could say, purposely ignoring you. For some of you, this is someone who ghosted you also. They purposely ghosted you. It's not over for them yet because they're still thinking about things with the two of pentacles. But like I said, I feel like this person feels like it's necessary to take some time apart because it does look like they need to kind of process some sort of situation that happened between you two with the Ten of Swords, some sort of event or situation that was very negative. And it's like they need to kind of process it. They need to kind of analyze it and come to terms with it in some way. And it's almost like they need to figure out how do they feel now after after whatever, I don't, I don't know what this is, after whatever happened between you two. They're trying to decide, you know, how have their feelings changed for you? Or if if their feelings have even changed for you or if they're still the same. It's like they're trying to figure that out. Like, how do they see you now? How do they feel about you now after after this event or situation happened. Okay, so let me take a look at that actually. How does this person currently view um, Libra? What is this person's current view of Libra, please? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, well, I said this already, like, they feel like you two are not seeing eye to eye with each other. You're not on the same page. There's a lack of equality. There's a lack of balance. Uh, 
they see you as someone who hasn't um, reciprocated in some way to them or hasn't been fair also with them in some way. How else does this person see Libra? We have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Huh. I feel like this person sees you as someone who who made a mistake, Libra. Uh, keep in mind that's just their point of view. Doesn't mean it's true, but I feel like they they see you as someone who made a mistake in some way, who acted um, acted wrongly in some way. Or like, they disagree. Some it's like they disagree with you in some way, or they disagree with how you've been acting, or how you acted, or what, or like your behavior with them. I don't know, something like that. Because I feel like they're seeing you as someone who, who didn't really put in the effort with them. They see you as someone who didn't really put in the effort or someone who wasn't really honest with them in some way. It's almost like they, they look at you like you pushed them away, like you were the one who caused or provoked them to, to, to distance themselves from you, you know? And this could be because you were closed off with the Nine of Pentacles they see you as someone who was closed off or um, guarded or defensive or you were prioritizing yourself. You weren't really prioritizing the relationship with them. Yeah, so I feel like this person is just kind of blaming you here for a lot of things. But they do still have feelings for you because we have the two of pentacles here. So you do still hold value to this person. They're just not sure um, how, how much they want to invest in this relationship um, at, at the current moment. I feel like there's, they're, they're uh, oh God, sorry, they're reevaluating. They're reevaluating the type of relationship they want to have with you. Um, and for some of you, this person is thinking about possibly not having a relationship at all with you and just kind of keeping themselves in this energy of like ghost. It feels like a ghosting type of energy. All right, Libra. So I hope that made sense in some way to you. I hope I gave you clarity. I'm going to continue on in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.